Wali, the son of Rahmu Bhagat, was a devoted person in Guj, Kutch. He left Kutch for Sindh and ultimately settled in Karachi. Soon after the retirement of Muki Aladina Asani, 1793-1881, from the post of the estate agent in 1873, Imam Hassan Ali Shah appointed him the second estate agent for Karachi and Sindh. The Imam also bestowed upon him the title of Varas. His descendant became known as the Valiani family in Karachi and Sindh. Varas Wali rendered his services with devotion and died in 1878. The third estate agent after him was Varaz Basriye, who died in 1918. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah then appointed Varaz Ibrahim, the son of Varaz Wali, as the fourth estate agent. Varaz Ibrahim died in 1924, retired in 1920, and he was followed by Vazir Rahim Basriye, died in 1927, as the next estate agent. The sixth estate agent was Varaz Ghulam Hussain, 1938 the son of Varas Ibrahim, and he was followed by Karim, 1881-1968, the son of Varas Ibrahim as the seventh estate agent for Karachi and Sindh. In sum, the office of the estate agent remained in Asani, Valiani, and Basriye families. Not only Karim was the recipient of the title Wazir, but the Imam also granted him the unique title of Senior Wazir in 1954. He retired in 1954 due to his eye weakness. His son, Captain Amir Ali, the eighth estate agent, followed him. Senior Wazir Karim died on Wednesday, 23rd October 1968 at the age of 87 years. Upon his death, the Imam sent following urgent message on 25th October, 1968. Urgent Paris, 25th October, 1968. Time 15 to 15. Urgent. Vazir Amir Ali Karim. Kea Mumtaj. Karachi. I was deeply grieved to hear of the sad demise of your beloved father, Senior Vazir Karim. I send my most affectionate special paternal maternal loving blessing for the soul of late Senior Vazir Karim and pray for the eternal soul of late Senior Vazir Karim. And I pray that eternal peace rests upon his soul. Late Senior Karim's long devoted service to my Pakistan Jamaat, my grandfather, my family and myself will always be warmly remembered and he will be dearly missed by us all. I send my most affectionate loving blessings to Varsiani Fatmbai, Wazir Julfikar Ali, yourself and all members of your family my most affectionate paternal maternal loving blessings for your courage and fortitude in your irreparable loss. Affectionately Aghan, Co-Urgent Varas Captain Amir Ali, the son of Senior Wazir Karim, was born in 4 September 1910. He completed his inter-arts in DJ Sindh College, Karachi in 1928-29. He proceeded on his first foreign trip in 1933, when the historic Indo-British Roundtable Conference was held in London, where the Imam granted him an audience in Ritz Hotel. He brought the Imam's messages in India for Sir Ghulam Hussain Hidayatullah and Sir Abdullah Harun, 1872-1942, insisting upon them to keep up the pressure through the columns of the press for the separation of Sindh from Bombay Presidency. These messages induced Captain Amir Ali to start an English weekly called Sindh Sentinel with Dr. Ghulam Ali Alana, 1906-1985, and himself as co-editor. It played a vital role for the cause till 1st April 1936, when the ultimate object of Sindh separation was achieved. In summary, Sindh became a separate province under the 1936 provincial autonomy reforms. He also closed down the publication of his weekly paper in 1936. His marriage took place in June 1935 in a simple ceremony and laid the best example for the affluent class. The Imam was happy of his simple marriage and sent a telegraphic message to his father from Europe, which reads, Best blessings Karachi children your family entertainment marriage occasion. Delighted good news economic marriage ceremony. There was only one Supreme Council in Karachi till 1935. In 1936, the Imam visited Karachi and introduced young blood in the newly formed Ismailia Supreme Council for Sindh. He was appointed member with Dr. Ghulam Ali Alana, 
Wazir Dr. Peer Muhammad Hurboy and Varas Abbas Ali Muhammad, etc. His age at that time was 26 years and was the youngest among the members. He was also appointed the member of Educational Board in 1936 and Honorary Secretary of Jambai Maternity Home in Karachi. In 1941, he joined the army at the instance of Prince Ali S. Khan, who felt that there were no Ismailis in the army and someone should initiate. So, he responded and was almost the first Ismaili to join the armed forces in the infantry division during the Second World War in 1941 as a King's Emergency Commissioned Officer and rose from second lieutenant to temporary major's rank. He was sent to Maho for a training of 18 months. Due to the emergency, the course was crammed into six months. He was commissioned as second lieutenant in May 1942. He was posted mainly in Assam up to the river Chindwin on Burma border and was charged in the famous siege of Kohina and Manipur on the Burma front and became the recipient of three war service medals. When the war ended in 1945, he was given an option for release in July 1946 and granted the rank of an honorary captain. On return to civilian life, he applied himself to agriculture in Sindh around Tando Bago. He worked under the guidance of his maternal uncle, Wazir Sabjali. Later, he went to his rice mill in Badi and supervised it for over two years. His father was an honorary estate agent, and his weakness of sight did not allow him to work. The Imam relieved him in 1954 with a special title of senior Wazir and appointed his son Captain Amir Ali as the next estate agent. He was the fourth in succession from his great-grandfather, Varas Wali. Prince Ali S. Khan also appointed him his honorary estate agent for Pakistan, including for Prince Sadruddin and Prince Amin Muhammad. The Imam appointed him as his constituted attorney for Pakistan. He was also the liaison officer of the Imam for the Ismailis of Iran, Iraq, Sheikhdoms of Persian and Arabian Gulfs, Afghanistan, Burma, Malaya and Sri Lanka. He was appointed an ex-officio member on the Ismailia Federal Council for Pakistan and all other supreme and local councils, and also on the Economic Planning and Grants Council for Ismailis in Pakistan. During the coronation ceremony of the King of Iran on 26 October 1967 at Golston Palace, Tehran, the Imam summoned him in Iran. On those days, it perplexed Reja Shah Pahilvi, the king of Iran to see him to take away and place the shoes of the Imam. The king asked, Is he your servant? The Imam said, No, he is one of my family members. He died on 21st December 1978 at Karachi. The Imam sent following message on 22nd December 1978 through the Ismailia Federal Council for Pakistan. I have learned with the deepest sorrow of the passing away of one of my senior most Jamaati leaders in Pakistan, Wazir Amir Ali Karim. I send my most affectionate, warmest, special loving blessings for the soul of late Wazir Amir Ali Karim, and I pray that his soul may rest in eternal peace. The late Wazir Amir Ali Karim's long and devoted and able services since the time of my late grandfather will always be remembered by the Jamaat and by myself and he will be greatly missed by us all. His passing away is a profound loss to my Jamaat and to me personally for Wazir Amir Ali had set an example of dedication and hard work for the Jamaat in Pakistan and elsewhere. And I had many occasion to know how deeply the late Wazir cared about the Jamaat's unity and spiritual and worldly happiness. Late Wazir Amir Ali Karim had succeeded his father as estate agent to the Imam, that is to one of the highest offices in the Jamaat and in doing so he was continuing an admirable tradition of service to the house of the Imam that his father had begun before him. Her Highness the Begum joins me in sending our heartfelt sympathies to the family of the late Wazir Amir Ali Karim, and at this time of sorrow and bereavement, they are all particularly in my heart, thoughts and prayers. The Imam also sent another message to his wife, Varsiani Kulsum and family as follows. I have learned with great pain and sorrow of the sudden passing away of your husband Wazir Amir Ali Karim. I send you and sons Aziz and Salim, and all the members of your family my most affectionate paternal maternal special blessings for service 
with best loving blessings for the soul of late Wazir Amir Ali. I pray that his soul may rest in eternal peace. The late Wazir's devoted services since the time of my late grandfather will always be remembered by my Jamaat of Pakistan and elsewhere and by myself, and he will be greatly missed by us all. Your late husband was one of the most trusted and loved spiritual children of the worldwide Jamaat, and his worldly seizing is a profound loss to the Jamaat and to me. He will always be present in my heart and thoughts and prayers. Her Highness the Bigam joins me in sending you and your family our heartfelt condolences in your painful bereavement. I send you all my most affectionate special loving blessings for courage and strength to bear this tragic loss. You are all in my heart and prayers. Prince Sadruddin also sent following telegraphic message to this effect. For family late Wazir Captain Amir Ali Karim deeply distressed. Just heard tragic news in demise. My dear friend Captain Amir Ali, whose dedicated lifelong service to my family will never be forgotten. My late father equally appreciated his invaluable cooperation and present Hazar Imam, and he can never be replaced. My wife and myself share your terrible loss and grief. We pray the Almighty that he may rest in peace. Please accept our most affectionate thoughts. Prince Amin Muhammad also sent following message. Have learned with great pain and sorrow passing away of Wazir Amir Ali Karim. Please accept my heartfelt condolence in your great loss. Wazir Amir Ali Karim's devoted services since the time of my late grandfather for the Imam and the community will always be remembered by us all. I pray that his soul may rest in eternal peace. May Allah give you all strength and courage to bear this great loss.